Hello everyone, welcome to our chemistry. So this video will be about hand sparing synthesis. So in hand sparing synthesis, as starting material, what we need as starting material, we need ethyl acetoacetic. That means CH3, CO, CH2, CO2, AT. So ethyl acetoacetic we need as one starting material. Another starting material will be ammonia here. So um, another starting material is ammonium. Another starting material will be acetaldehyde. So this one is the sequence. Now know how to give the substitution. First of all, we have CO2 AT group. So that CO2 AT group will come here. CO2 AT and here also CO2 AT. Because two molecules of ethyl acetate we need. This, from this ammonia, we are getting nitrogen here and this CH3 group of acetaldehyde will come here. CH3, CH3, CH3. So in step 1, we have ethyl acetate and that ethyl acetate will react with ammonia and it will give you imine then inamine, imine enamine tautomerism will occur. Okay. Now the first thing at which place that lone pair of nitrogen will attack. Lone pair of nitrogen can attack to this carbonyl carbon, can attack to this carbonyl carbon. But this carbonyl carbon is ester carbonyl carbon. That means here plus R effect or resonance effect of this oxygen is present. So that's why this one lesser in electrophilic nature. So this one will be higher in electrophilicity. So ammonia will attack that place. So here after attacking ammonia, any means any 3 plus a positive charge will come upon ammonia. From this, a H plus will be released and that H plus will be taken up by this oxygen. So here will be a plus H plus. So the thing will happen like this. NH2 here, OH here and here OET double bonded O. Now in the next step, what will happen? In the next step, that water will go away in like this way. So here also again a positive charge will come that uh, one H plus will be released from nitrogen and that H plus will be taken up by OH so a water molecule will be released and here a double bonded NH will form and here CO2 AT now this one is the imine so after this uh, enamine will form so here will be imine enamine tautomerism in place in presence of this alpha hydrogen now alpha hydrogen with respect to ester group or amine group so here we are getting that enamine so amine after that we are getting enamine so first step is about amine enamine tautomerism enamine let's go for the second step in step 2 what will happen in step 2 aldol type of reaction will happen here we have that another molecule of ethyl acetoacetate and we have here acetaldehyde first of all a ketoenol tautomerism will occur here alpha hydrogen is present so this one is the keto one after that enol will form so here is the ketoenol tautomerism will occur so this so this one is stable in enol form because of hydrogen bonding now in, in enol form it will react with this acetaldehyde how it will react like that we have this thing ethyl acetoacetate in enol form and co 2 at and there we have acetaldehyde also now in next step what will happen here this will rotate and with this place it will attack to here this one is the aldol type of reaction aldol type of reaction so here it will come and this type of reaction will occur we have CH3 here we have OH and here water molecule will go away and we will get alpha beta unsaturated ester or alpha beta unsaturated ketone because we have ketone here we have ester here this one alpha position with respect to ketone or ester this one beta position and this position is alpha beta and this one is unsaturated so alpha beta unsaturated ketone or ester now in the next step or in the last step in the last step in step 3 we have to write the enamine like this way because nitrogen will come below portion of our pyridine and here we have co 2 group plus we have here this one 
this alpha beta unsaturated ketone or alpha beta unsaturated ester and here michael addition will occur so through michael addition here rearrangement will occur here in h2 will come here it will attack this one and this one after this we will get like this type of compound double bond ch3 here we will get oh here a co2 at and here that ch3 will be there and here another CO2 AT molecule here double bonded in H2 positive. Now in next case what will happen here this OH bond will rotate and a keto will form and it will release one H plus and uh, after releasing H plus it will again capture this because here again imine enamine type of reaction will happen. So we will get something like that. So here we have double bonded O, here we have CO2 AT, here we have CH3 and CO2 AT again. And in the next step again, this NH2 will work as a internal nucleophile, it will attack here in the next step OH will come outside. So here a ring will form in H, CH3, CH3 double bond, double bond, here CH3, here CO2 AT, CO2 AT. To make to aromatize the ring, we have to oxidize it, and after oxidation, we will get we have this thing in our hand right now in H CH3 CH3 CO2 AT CH3 CO2 AT, and after oxidation, we will get full pyridine ring here. This one CH3, 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 CO2 AT, CO2 AT. Okay. So, if this video is helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment and thank you for watching.